Hi, this is Denise Sutton reporting for Can We Talk Television, and welcome to the show. I am glad and honored to welcome four women of excellence to the show today, and we're going to do part two of this segment. We had such a great time that we had to bring them back again. So I would like to introduce Deborah Michael, Valina Bratton, Michelle Hobby, and Kava Hicks to the set of Can We Talk Television. Last time we had a great discussion on women's liberation and also about the family structure and how women are being treated within the United States. And we had such an open discussion. We didn't even touch on the women that are in other countries. You know, I, you mentioned, I believe, Kava, you mentioned something about Pakistan. And then you mentioned you were in China and you saw a newspaper article. What was that about? Uh, well, it was a front page of, we was about to board the flight and it was a front page and it was two women they were buried up to their necks in the in the ground and the people were had stones in their hands I mean big stones because the law says that if a woman gets caught in adultery you are to stone her head until it's pulp Wow. and her family is the first people so the family has the stones and so it was like this you know it was a it was a newspaper like the size of the New York Times so the picture was like this big in color and I was just like, what year is this? Yes. Like, w what, what, what yes. are we talking about? But in different places, there are different cultures. And because of these different cultures, and those laws date back to the ninth century. Mm -hmm. And not much has progressed for women in many countries and cultures around the world because women are, are thought to have been a lesser yeah. when, it, in fact, uh, what was it, the study or something that these men wanted to know what childbirth was like? Mm. <laughs> and they was like, bring it on. And they was talking a lot of junk, five minutes. In about that seventh minute, they saw Jesus. <laughs> and they were crying. And they was like, oh, no, pumpkin, you're going to go through this. And they was only at level stage two of, the, uh, wow. of labor. So, wow. you know. The thing is, is that we're all strong in our own rights, yes. and I don't have to, uh, I don't have to put you down yeah. to make me seem bigger. Yes. And to me, if you have to qualify your strength by putting your foot on me, then you're not really strong. Mm -mm. I, in fact, you're very weak. You're extremely weak. Because to me, if you are strong, just be it. Just be. Just, just come and be. You don't have to present your, your pamphlet or your resume. It's okay. It's okay, Pumpkin. You can relax. Okay? You strong. Keep drinking your milk. It's okay. You know, we're going to shift the gears a little bit because, but that was very, thank you for that. We're going to talk about the rainbow. Mm -hmm. You know, we see the rainbow in our current media outlets. Um, we know the LGBT uses the rainbow as their symbol. But what did God say in the Bible in regards to the rainbow? What is going on now versus how God intended? Who would like to expound on that first about the rainbow? God's perspective on the, on the rainbow, but this world system's perspective on how the rainbow is used now. When in the Old Testament, it was, mm -hmm. um, it was a promise mm -hmm. that I would never destroy the earth again right. by water. Right. By water. By water. <laughs> God's like got jokes. Yes. 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 I don't know joke. about water. There's some other things up my sleeve. That's the truth, yeah. okay? Yeah. Yeah. And, and now it is, and it's not just, it, that's, the acronym is longer than that. It's also Q. Q, Q. Yeah. Because it's yeah. queer and questioning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, and identity okay. questioning. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, it's, okay. it's, a, it's an extremely long acronym. Um, and honestly, my, my feeling about that is that <sighs> I understand the church's perspective. I get it. But I think that the biblical perspective or the godly perspective is, is that we as the children of God are supposed to be the embodiment of love. Yes. Mm -hmm. exactly. The embodiment of love. And the embodiment of love says, come. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. Everybody. Mm -hmm. Because we have, everybody has something. And I'm supposed to love you where you are. Right. And let God be God. Amen. I don't have the keys to heaven. Amen. I have, not, I have not been there. Amen. Um, I'm trying to get there. Amen. Uh, <laughs> so how dare I act like I already have locked in real estate, like the keys are here, mm -hmm. ching -ching. and acting and, and behaving in such an arrogant manner when the God I serve is not that. Mm -hmm. right. He's a God of love. Amen. And he says, come unto me, all that are heavy laden and burdened, and I will give you rest. Yes. Not come unto Valina or Lady Hicks or Sister Michelle or Sister Deborah. Mm -hmm. And I think there's so much judgment and I think that we have hurt so many people in mm -hmm. that community mm -hmm. that they now feel that they have to do this grandiose act by taking something like the rainbow and making it their symbol, which yes. I understand. I understand. It's just I think it's a very complex situation. I think it's a very complex issue. But I think the bottom line, the bottom line is, is if we were better bait, mm. we're supposed to be the bait. We're supposed to be the fishers of men. And w the bait that we're using is jacked up. Like, relax. And I agree. That's how I feel. I feel like we show major love. and minors. Yes. Um, the rainbow, their definition of it has nothing to do with the promise that yes. was given to us. So I don't think um, them using the rainbow, it's not even the rainbow that, that's in the Bible. It's, no, it's, 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 there, it's in the a attention. rainbow, and right. it's their interpretation of, what, of it is, what it is, of what it is, but it is not what it was intended to be. Because the and rainbow means something to us. Exactly. Right. exactly. And I think that's where, that's where the burn comes in, because the rainbow means something in Christendom. I think they just picked the rainbow. Yeah, they it's like, just did, because oh, it's beautiful, the colors. The colors and the colors, that's and when you do the, the research behind yeah, it, that's yeah. what I think um, it was. it's not even the amount of stripes or colors that we have in the rainbow More of, of, of Christ, you right. know, and, and the rainbow that they have, they have different uh, meanings for the different colors right. or whatever. Yeah. So I think it's all in how you define it. Right. We know that it's not the promise that God um, intended for the earth. And I'm not going to major in a minor. I, I'm in total agreement with this. And we need to learn how to love. Mm. Yes. When we learn how to love, then that other stuff is just very minuscule. Mm -hmm. It has no relevance. And it should not be a topic of conversation in our churches, I don't think, mm. um, because it's not what we're going after. We're going after the souls. And the, we can't expect the unregenerated to act like the regenerated. Right. Exactly. We can't expect people that are not a part yet of the kingdom to, of God to present themselves as if they are or but, to have our focus or our intent. But people who already feel rejected. They already, and it's like the, the society has already rejected them on so many levels. And it's like, well, here's this building. And in this building, it's supposed to be people filled with that, uh, filled with love. And they're supposed to be the reflection of God. But when I go in there, they act like the people out in the street. So where lies the difference? Where is the healing? The church is a hospital. It's filled with sick people. Yeah. Even those that are saved. Even they those, are especially those, those that are saved. saved. That's, that's why they still come. Hey, and, <laughs> that's not right. and that may not be your lifestyle. We, why we're right. still what coming. about the liar? What about, and Absolutely. I just think that we've just put so much emphasis, emphasis. on one sin. Minors. And sin is sin. It is. Sin is sin. But I think it's also. It's okay if you are. Oh, well, yeah, I might be. Flexible. <laughs> <laughs> flexible, flexible. Anyway, but my, I think for me, with, when it comes to the rainbow, is that because you you say don't major in minors, but I think it is to me it is major because it was something that God gave to us, and when we don't when we when we uh, let let people say okay even though they're using the rainbow it may not be the the definition per se but they're using rainbow and when people hear that they don't identify it to being something that God gave us and I understand that yes to say unsaved the, these unsaved people they 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 may not understand but we understand. And why is it, why is it when, if I wear a t-shirt that has a rainbow, that the first thing a saved person would say, oh, are you, are you, um, supporting? They got you? better PR than we do. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> but they, they have I'm already branded. Of, they got good branding. Uh, but but I'm, I'm, hey, I, now, your perspective, because I have a rainbow umbrella. Mm -hmm. And every time I walk with my rainbow umbrella, mm -hmm. someone will say, oh. 
you support LGBT. Yeah. Right, because that's what that, that's because what it, that's, that's their society. brand. That's but well, let me ask you a question. Yes, of it. absolutely. Let me ask you a question. Mm. Do you like Michael Jackson music? I have, yeah. I, I like Stevie yeah. Wonder, right? Yeah. Patty yeah. LaBelle, yeah. you know, Shaka yeah. Khan. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but music was made frank by God. Mm -hmm. And that was not the purpose of music. I but know. do we hate all of them and do we no. ostracize them? Oh, no, no, no. no. Please come to our church. No, no, no. Please I don't ostracize them. I don't ostracize them. But what I'm saying is that when the thing is, if I, if, if, if God purposed for something to be what it is, yeah. why are we allowing it to be something else? That's what I'm trying. But music I'm too. I, and I'm in agreement with you because I have a problem when when I see gospel artists or even people in, in church using secular music as a as a worship attempt to God. Yeah. I have a problem with it, yeah. big time. Because first of all, your reflection on the music of that, say Stevie Wonder music or whoever, Shaka Khan, right? You you hear the music, you, and you got um, words that are are reflecting to God. But all I do is remember the yeah, song. I remember where I heard it. Exactly. And where I was and when I heard and it. That's, so don't do that. So, that, <laughs> so I mean, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That it's a it is a big problem. It's we 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 um we want to let people know because. The world, they really think that we are a joke. And if we don't stand up for something, we're going to fall for anything. And they're just looking at us like, well, if you allowed us to do this, then it's okay. Mm -hmm. It's not. I don't care if it's small. It, to me, it's, it's, God, God would not have given it to us if he said that you could just give it to anybody and let them use it and abuse it and call it their own like that. He mm -hmm. wouldn't have given it to us. But he doesn't want us to have an image. So for me, to me, I understand what you're saying, mm -hmm. but because he's such a jealous God, yes. there is no image on this planet, including the rainbow, mm -hmm. that may, I like. I think the rainbow's pretty, but I think an oak tree is pretty too. Yeah. You, you understand what I'm saying? It doesn't change the covenant. It doesn't no, 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 no. I understand and, what you're and saying. So then, how do we uh, befriend <clears throat> homosexuals? Yes. Right. How do we befriend transgender? And you know what? How do we? How that. do we love them? into the Christ that we are rep that is representative of this right. You How meet do them where they that? are. You don't right. judge them. I had an aunt that was like that, you know? So, you know, it, it, to me, it, it's like, okay, this is their choice. I mean, so what if, if um, so they wear it. But they don't outward. think it's their choice. That's right. the they thing. They don't. And so when, but when we say things like they that, don't. it's offensive to them. Well, okay, so, some, well, okay. That's like, no, I'm just giving oh, you that. chose to be black. black. Oh, you right. chose right. to be black. <laughs> Did you but, but in the same female. breath, you can say, you said, I know some people that are like this. Like, like, like me saying, I know some people that are liars. We don't well, do that, but say, we differentiate that. I was going to say, if you're a fornicator or right. an adulterer, then, you know, I don't wear that badge. Well, I'm not that, but I'm just saying, I wouldn't wear that badge on my my shirt but but you know it based on what they do i'm just saying there's a behavior unfortunately that that's because you know it's like the way they dress the way they have that they speak it's and, a costume because sometimes you yes. don't know that's so called the majority. It's called, it's called DL. Think, Have you heard of that? I, the yeah, that, that, There are a lot of people that are doing things that you have no true. idea. And that's basically my not to uh, downplay because mm -hmm. right. I, I I definitely am not downplaying the promises over our lives. Absolutely. Definitely not yeah, doing yeah. that. But when I say uh, majoring in minors, I think that we spend a little too much time on that and that has nothing to do with the actual covenant and I think if we right. spend more time on love we need and to loving each other yeah. and meeting on the common ground of Christ I think if we would do that the Holy Spirit is strong enough to wipe out all that stuff Absolutely. and all the stuff that's in us yeah that's right. that's what I'm really trying to that. say because right. we no time to say that the <laughs> promise belongs to us mm -hmm. we are doing some stuff. stuff. Absolutely. That's, that's, that's with this rainbow. Right. With right. this rainbow right. covenant that mm -hmm. we have, right. we are not holding up our side. Right. We've done a lot of things. Yeah. Some so. people be in church. Well, I was at a service and I heard this man, he was about to do an offering, and he was like, if you, all you women, y'all want a husband, come on, get oh, this offering. Oh, no. no, you would not believe yeah, how long yeah. that long, how long, <laughs> how long, long that long, how long, 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 long. And I was, I was because the service was, uh, because the service was, I was going to get up and get my one, and when he said that before the rain, I sat down, and I said, Lord, <laughs> Please give me an opportunity to speak to that man. Yeah, and he came and sat right in front of me. Oh. I said, thank, thank you. you. <laughs>
Did you and you spoke to him? Absolutely. And absolutely. Was he was he, he was receptive. And you know what? He repented. Good. Because he was like, is that what that sounded like? I said exactly, exactly what, what it sounds sound like. like. And I said, you just said that you just went against he that findeth. Right. Yes. To she who payeth. Right. Yes. <laughs> Be careful to what you add to the book and you get your name taken out of the book. That's right. That's oh, right. The time, time. Oh, it's, time. it's offensive. It's, very it's disgusting. Offensive. And that's when it marginalizes women. First of all, it does. Who says they want you? Exactly. Sit down.